All right, looking at feijoada for the first time, I really have no idea what to expect. It's not every day you see food this color. So obviously there's black beans involved. And the other thing we know about feijoada is if you have feijoada for lunch, you should not eat breakfast and you probably won't eat dinner. <laughs> so we know it's really heavy, but that's about all we know, which is uh, really nice that we have Felipe, Bianca, and Davi here with us today. <laughs> so some locals guiding our experience because there's a lot going on here and we need some help, to be honest. <laughs> so they brought us to this local place where it seems like every single person is eating fish water. Yeah. Literally every table around us has this very interesting sort of black and purple bowl. It's not a coincidence because feijoada day is Wednesday here in Sao Paulo. So this menu has something they serve Monday, something they serve Tuesday, and feijoada Wednesday, which is sort of unique. I can't, I can't recall another country where every day of the week is a different meal. So sort of interesting. Now the idea is we're gonna put rice, we're gonna put cassava powder, we've got some other pork options, and then we're gonna put this feijoada on top of everything and make a big sort of pile. First time ever, uh, so this is why we brought the locals because there's a lot going on here and I don't want to do it wrong. So we really, like really thank you to them. Pork chop. Pork chop. And then like pork skin or Pork belly? skin, some veggie and some green rice. Cabbage, like green cabbage. And this is cassava powder. Cassava powder. Cassava powder. And then in the fish water is obviously black beans and pork parts. So it could be pork tail, it could be pork uh, ear, it could be lots of different things. So you'll have some um, pork ear and pork belly and every part of the pork in there. Yeah, so Felipe, Felipe, yeah. it's okay? And then fish water on top. Yeah. See, this is why we're grateful to have a local. Because I would be eating it from there and everyone would be mad at me in the comments. So I'm just gonna go like this and do this. Is this right? Okay. Yes. The color is really special because it's purple, man. There's a lot of meat inside. Oh, there's a lot of meat towards the bottom. Yeah, you might have to dig a little and be creative here. Um, <laughs> maybe a piece of sausage there. This, this looks, looks very exciting. Uh, oh to be God. honest, I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah, it's really I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> and I will say this. I will say this. It's safe. It's safe, it's yes. Safe. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it pairs well with... So, caparinha. So, first things first, Saudi, Ivana? Saudi, Saudi, Saudi. And I will say this uh, obviously, never tried feijoada before, but the word feijoada is very fun to say. It's true, right? It's very satisfying to say feijoada. It's like I want to say it as much as possible. Feijoada, feijoada, feijoada. It's very fun to say. Feijo means bean. Yeah, Feijon means beans, yeah. and this dish is called fish water. So I guess we'll mix it like this a little bit, yeah. and then go for it. Quite nervous. <laughs> How is this? Oh, you forgot to put the spicy. Hot sauce. Need hot sauce, okay? Hot so you sauce. did it wrong. I will say the flavor hot is really pepper. nice. You really taste the beans, <laughs> and I love the texture of uh, all the different stuff going on. It's sort of got some some cassava powder and then some crunch and some veggie. Sort of quite nice. <laughs> it's really good actually. Oh, look at that. Look at the Ooh, the spicy sauce is really nice. Yeah, I will say this is making me nervous. This is some sort of pork yeah, organ something. Yeah. Can you get it for it's a part of the pork. Ah, uh, uh, you should find yeah. the pork here, Steve. <laughs> I tell you what, it's very good. It's really good. What could this be? We don't know. Yeah. Something. <laughs> Jabba. Jabba. It's like a jerky. No, no. I don't know. No. It could be uh, different parts of the. Eu acho que é orelha. É como que falou orelha? Different textures and flavors. Different textures. Yeah. You sort of don't know, even when you see it on your spoon, you don't know what it's going to be. Yeah, on it the could sausage be, and the rib. The sausage and the rib, you know. <laughs> but uh, that particular piece of pork was mostly fat and very soft. The one before was sort of chewy. It's sort of a bunch of different things happening all at once here. And it has sausage, I think this um, is the belly. This might be the belly here. It's quite soft, you can cut it with a spoon. 
Um, the color is nice. It's sort of interesting. It's interesting. I tell you what, we'll finish everything. It's good food. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I love it. I'm not sure. I don't love it. Um, this is crunchy. Also, you'll notice you'll notice that Felipe is wearing a Corinthians jersey. Yeah, Corinthians. <laughs> yeah. We've decided we can still be friends, even though I'm I'm Palmeiras. But uh, very interesting food. The color alone is so interesting. Yeah, I go for it all. Oh, crunchy. This food is not so much about the flavor, it's about the eating experience. And the flavor is good. Right? The flavor is good, but the eating experience is even better. Okay. That's what's memorable. Okay, anyway, you try, Bonnie, you try. Okay. Get my plate, it's still empty. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you were gonna let me eat first. That today. was actually my plan, and then one thing led to another, and I was already eating. Okay. Darn it. Sorry, babe. So, Yvonne is going for a very organized approach, whereas I'm going for this. Wow. Uh, interpretive art. Jackson Pollock type approach. <laughs> Yvonne is being very organized. This is the ribs. Oh Yvonne, my gosh. I'm, I'm, Can I have the ribs? Yeah, go ahead. Don't be shy. Oh, Take the whole rib. Oh. I'm, I'm curious to... Uh, look at my plate. It's to pretty. see what you're going to say about it. Mix everything with beans and veggies and uh, the cassava flour is called farofa, right? Farofa. 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 Actually, the cassava uh, powder is really important. It really adds a nice texture to it. Mm. Sort of changes the entire milk experience, this, uh, this wow. yellow, yellow powder. Very tasty. Mm. It's and, good, right? Yeah, the, and, and I like how the like liquid is thick from the bean. Right. Yeah, so it's very flavor. The flavor is there. Now. I'm gonna add a little bit of spiciness. Yeah, the spiciness you'll like. I guess the main flavor in terms of what you taste is the beans, right Ivana? Yeah. That's the dominant the flavor. Yeah. But the texture is what's really memorable. It's I love so the texture. Good. Oh my god, look at this. Uh, I'm not sure what part of the oh this looks like tongue actually. Beef tongue. Uh beef tongue? Beef tongue? No, pork. Yeah, it's like a jerk with beef. Oh beef as well. Yeah, okay, or, or so the sausage. I don't know. <laughs> I think this is tongue. <laughs> okay, so beef and pork though. But beef and pork, both. Yeah, no, just pork. Just, just pork. pork. Just pork. Okay, okay. Pork so tongue. maybe pork tongue, yeah. Anyways, this looks like tongue. Check it. Tongue. Tongue. Mm. Which is really good quality meat. She knows even better than me. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a bit of a food expert. She no. likes food. <laughs> So my plate, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Everyone else is very organized. Yours is clean. <laughs> Yours is very clean. Mine is like this. Come oh on, my see. gosh. Put more feijoada. Feijoada on top. Yeah. Make it look nice. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call this in Brazil? Torresmo. 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 Pork belly, deep fried. Deep fried. Wow, look at this. Very yeah, it's quite nice. Kind of, it's kind of crunchy. And, and a lot of fat in there, so a lot of flavor. Nice, right? Mm. Very good. Mm -hmm. There you have it, guys. So, Ivana, overall, uh, rate your first feijoada experience. You guys, this might be my favorite Brazilian food. Really? So far. Mm -hmm. So far. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Mm, very good. Very flavorful. Look at this. Yeah, the color alone, it really packs a punch. That kind of deep and rich color. And they cook it in this color. kind of like clay, I don't know, and put it in the oven or something? It looks good. I mean, it's a messy sort of awesome yeah. experience. I like how they cook it in a clay pot. Right. Or not Super pot. nice. <laughs> yeah, clay bowl. Mm -hmm. All right, let's eat up, and then we'll uh, mm. give our final review. And most importantly, big obrigado oh. to Felipe. <laughs> Uh, Saúde. Anytime. Saúde. Saúde. <laughs> sausage, man. It got sausage, it got meat, it got tongue, it got... Uh, so, uh, Felipe said there is ear in it too, but I haven't found it. But we'll try to look Just for keep it. digging. Just keep digging. <laughs> the pepper hot sauce is good, but this is the real deal. Pimenta sauce. This is going to be too much for me, but maybe just right for you. Oh, I love it. I love spicy food. So this is just right. By the way, this is like the perfect combo. 
the uh, feijoada, beans and meat. The pork chop, which is like really good. It's crispy in the outside and so tender in the inside. The farofa adds some kind of texture to the food, the, the whole farofa, experience. Yeah, it's really important. And this thing, this is really special. You don't get this every day, every day, every like anywhere. Only yeah, yeah. I've only seen this in Brazil and maybe like Colombia or something. Right, right. It's very good. Mm. You're loving the bona. I will say the flavor is very good. I'm just I'm nervously chewing because every once in a while you get something crunchy or like a bone. Mm -hmm. So it's a new experience for me to chew gently and sort of think before <laughs> you chew because you don't even know what's in your mouth. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so far, so good, man. Really great combo all together. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you have it. All right, let's eat. Rice and beans, six stars. Really? Little one, Ivana. All right. Final review of our first ever feijoada experience. Listen, the flavor is very good. You can't say anything bad about the flavor. It tastes good. The thing is, I was born and raised very sheltered in my culinary experience. So for the first 27 years of my life, uh, no organs, no skin. It was really a boneless, skinless experience. Chicken meat, steak, and pork. In Canada. In Canada. So I'm having trouble because you, you put a scoop of food in your mouth and you don't know if there's a bone in it. You don't even know what it is necessarily. The flavor is good, but in my head, it's hard to really love. Because of the type of the meat. Because of the type of the meat and you have to sort of feel around with your tongue to see if there's a bone in there. I'm not used to this. I understand this is going to lose all the subscribers and all the viewers and it would be much better if I just lied to you and said I loved it but we had to be honest and have some integrity and uh, feijoada is better in my taste buds than it is in my head. The taste is good but in my head uh, it makes me nervous. I will say the more caprinha I drink the better it is because my nervousness goes down so I'm more comfortable but um, we're learning that there's tons of skill in the recipe in order to serve Feijoada today, you would start yesterday. So it takes about like one day to cook it. It's really good time. recipe. I understand the skill there. I understand people love it. But for me, I'm just nervous. <laughs> and I'm eating very slowly and it's just... And because of the different types of meat and organs in Feijoada, that's why it takes long to cook it. To make it sure everything a long time. is cooked. Yeah, if you look at and some of the meat, yeah. it's like still red. It's like really interesting, really flavorful, sort of purple almost looking. Yeah. It's good food, guys. It's good food, but I mean, me, meat, it's so I was spoiled rotten as a young boy, and I was eating plain nothing. <laughs> for me, I have no trouble eating anything. Ivana loves it. Ivana's giving this food six stars, and for me, not six stars. Oh, what is it? <laughs> but I, I just want to extend my sincere apologies, because it's, it's good. It's just not for me. Okay. That's fair. Something's wrong with Steve. I don't know what. Something's wrong with you, man. Okay, guys, I'm gonna finish this whole feijoada bowl because Steve is not a fan of it. Listen, listen. <laughs> For the first 28 years of my life, I never even ate something from the ocean. Oh yeah, you're right. Right? I'm still learning the ways of all the delicious things there are outside of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Look at this. How can... Oh, come on, this is six stars. It's six stars. It's better than five stars, Steve. Oh my god. I can eat this every day. And actually, in normal Brazilian household, they eat, they eat rice almost every day. Rice and beans. Although not feijoada, not feijoada, lighter type of bean dish, they yeah. eat it every day. Yeah, but come on, this is the best. You love it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's a bit of a drag race over here. It's a drag race over here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I know I, I, know I let the Brazilian people down, but I have to be honest. The flavor is actually good, but in my head, I'm just, I'm just lame. Mm. And they, come on, it takes a day to cook it. Lots of skills. That's why the meat is so tender. You know, you don't come into like a chewy part of meat. It's all tender. True fact. The meat is very tender. Even like the organs, the tongue. Is so, so Ivana, what we'll do, you and I, we'll order fish water, 
you can take maybe the more, let's say, exotic pieces of meat. Yeah. And I can take the... And I think you can ask, maybe you can ask some restaurant just to oh, just get the, the normal part of the meat. Yeah. 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 But not not normal, but the, the easy ones for yeah. foreigners. Yeah. Tu tourist friendly fish <laughs> And this? <laughs> or Brazilian? This is actually so good. Yo, this you is like actually this? so good. Yeah, this is this is really good stuff. This is deep fried pork belly. Yeah. It's super nice on the inside. And normally too, it's really nice. you can cut it into small pieces and just eat it as a snack with your beer. So oh. instead of peanut and beer, it's yeah. this thing with beer. Pork fat, it's kind of naturally yeah. flavorful. You can probably make it salty. It's really nice. I'm trying to redeem myself, eh? I'm trying to redeem myself. It be salty and airy. It's really good. I really yeah. love the, the pork belly. Deep fried pork belly. Mm -hmm. Man, I can eat this every day. But too bad, it's only half of on Wednesday and Saturday. <laughs> Day, come on. The best day. All right, guys, thanks for watching our video. My sincere apologies, but the, the flavor is good, to be honest. The flavor is good. And the texture is even better than the flavor. But overall, uh, it's a six stars from Ivana. <laughs> uh, Davey, too much feijoada for Davey. <laughs> That's what happens when you eat too much feijoada. <laughs> No, just kidding. Davy only has milk <laughs> and rice. That's what I feel like though. It's very heavy, very yeah. filling. <laughs>